Hey, it's Bill here, and I'm at Seven World Trade Center in New York City. I'm joined today by our chief currency strategist, Greg Michalowski. We want to talk a little bit about today's non-farm payroll number. So, Greg, why don't you take it over and tell us a little bit about the number that came out today while seemingly disappointing. It was disappointing, Bill. We had uh, uh, 96,000 jobs, uh, non-farm payroll jobs came out. They were expecting about 127. Mm -hmm. Private payroll is also weaker at 103 versus 142. Manufacturing lost 15,000 jobs last month, Bill. They're expecting a 10,000 gain. The only bright spot may have been the unemployment rate, which came in at 8.1 versus 8.3. But people are raising an eyebrow to that as well. It seems like it. From all the fodder I've heard and from all the people I've talked to this morning, it seems like it was just a disappointing number. But let's take it a step further and see actually how the reaction was in the euro, because I think that's what everybody looks at anyway. So let's all take right. a look yeah. at that. Yesterday in my pre-employment uh, report that we posted on Facebook, uh, we, we were taking a look at this euro versus U.S. dollar chart. We had a nice little trend line coming across the high, nice little trend line coming across the bottom. We were in between those two trend lines, and what we saw in trading today is a break to the upside, a break above the top trend line. And you can see right now here, we're actually trying to break above this channel trend line here mm -hmm. uh, at around the 127.72 level currently trading about 127.85. Next target bill comes this green line, that's a 200 day moving average. Look back how far we've it's been since we've been above that 200 day moving average. That's a, that's Going all the wow. way back here to the month of October of uh, 2011. So a long, time. long time, I'd expect some resistance at that so do level. You, do you kind of expect this trend to continue? Is this what you're seeing? No, I would expect that to uh, continue. That mm -hmm. gets, uh, uh, we have some uh, key, key events coming up next week which I think may uh, keep this uh, euro support. You know, why don't we do that? Let's take it from here. Let's look at next week. Let's see some of the key events coming up. Some of the things that you think we should highlight as traders that we should be paying attention to. So why don't you take us through this? This is our Forex Week Ahead uh, uh, PDF file. You can fi find this on Forex Live over the weekend. Mm -hmm. We have some trade data coming out on Monday out of China. They're going to be paying attention. The market's going to be paying attention to that. Then US and Canada trade data on Tuesday. On Wednesday, we start to get into uh, UK data with the jobless uh, numbers coming out in mm -hmm. the UK. On Thursday, we have US PPI and initial claims. Uh, and on Friday, we have uh, some uh, pretty important data with the US retail sales, Michigan's consumer confidence. Is there anything here, Greg, production. that jumps out at you as if you were trading, what would be the most important thing you'd be looking at? I'd have to look down here at the key events, gotcha. that actually, not the releases. Mm -hmm. uh, notice here on Thursday at 12.30 p.m., we have the FOM rate uh, decision. Mm -hmm. With the weaker employment uh, report, people or, or traders will be looking for uh, the Fed to signal perhaps QE3 coming out. Oh, that's a big uh, term. And, and that uh, seems to be supporting of gold, seems to be supporting of the euro, selling of the dollar. Mm -hmm. That's why I see the euro probably most likely continuing. If it stays above that trend line that we saw on the pr prior chart, uh, stays above key support level, that 200 day mm -hmm. moving average uh, should be tested. Do you have any expectation of what you expect to see from the FOMC? And for those folks who don't actually know what FOMC is, it's the Federal Open Market Committee. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's where you will get rate policy decisions and things like that. Do you have any expectation of this? Uh, Bernanke signaled that he, he is looking toward QE, QE3, mm -hmm. looking for more stimulus. How it's uh, projected, do they leave it open-ended as far as how much they're going mm -hmm. to do? In the prior uh, quantitative easings, they've put a, a limit on it. There's some talk that perhaps it leaves it unlimited, that just, well, we're just going to keep it open and, and keep the uh, money flowing in uh, until this economy starts to turn around. So in essence, all options are on the table. That's right. Okay, well, everybody, if you want to get a hold of this, Greg, how does somebody get a hold of this look ahead, this week ahead? We'll put this on uh, www.4xlive.com uh, 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 over okay. the weekend, so you'll be able to download that. It's a PDF, so uh, any, anyone should be able to download it. All righty, well done. So we've, we've done our our look back at the non-farm payroll, our look ahead to next week. And uh, Greg, I want to say thanks a lot for joining us today, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for having me. Thank you, everybody, and best of luck in your trading.